to the man who harassed me. You, mo- <clears throat> so. you might not know who I am and I might never see you again. But I know that you saw the distress on my face when you chose to approach me. And you might be sitting there listening with your mum or your sister or your partner right now and they don't know what you've done. But I want you to hear the hurt in my voice and know that you caused that. I consider myself a strong woman who can handle what life throws at her. But your actions and your decisions has shaken me to the point of tears for the past couple of days. And I don't know why you chose me. I was minding my own business, walking in a place that always felt safe while the sun was still up. These are all things that we have to teach girls to do (sighs) so that they can avoid getting into danger. Even while doing ordinary things like going to the grocery store. I tried to ignore the things that I could hear you saying to get a rise out of me. I tried to look away even though I could see you were trying to get my attention and I changed my direction to try and get away from you. But when you followed me and continued to follow me at the entrance, continued to bait me and then smashed on a partition that's the only thing that separated us so loudly that it caused me to gasp and jump and drew unwanted attention from those around me. You stole the right that I have to... You stole the right that I have to feel safe as a woman doing something as ordinary as grocery shopping. You walked away before you could see the damage that you had caused a 27-year-old woman who has been intimidated to the point of breaking down. You laughed in the face of a woman who felt unsafe leaving the store for fear that you were waiting outside and you didn't see the tears rolling down my face as I had to call my mum <laughs> so I could walk home and feel like I had someone there with me. You might have thought it was a joke and you might be thinking that I take it too seriously but I'm done with condoning this behaviour. I'm tired of the rhetoric that boys will be boys and I'm finished to finding ways to disappear when I'm not the problem. Being a woman in a public space alone does not give you the right to harass me or any woman. And while I don't have the right to speak for every woman, I'm sure my point of view is shared by at least a few of them, many who have lived through much worse situations than mine. But regardless, you're part of the problem. And you have no right to make me or any other woman feel that way, unsafe and exposed. So before you think about doing this again, to me or anyone else, before you honk your horn at a girl who's just crossing the street, or think that you have the right to cause a scene in a public place because a girl is ignoring your advances, think of someone doing that to your mum or your sister or your girlfriend. I owe you nothing, but you owe it to yourself to change. And I hope for my sake and the women across the Riverina and across the world that you do. Sincerely, a fed up woman. Well done, Bronte.